Google visit. Okay. It is now, it says we're live. We're live. Hello. Welcome to the live stream of the Grove Schools Lottery for the 2023-2024 academic year. I'm Connie Brown. I'm the Accounting and Human Resources Manager here at the Grove School. I have an assistant tonight who will be helping me. Mr. Shadwinkle, if you would like to come up. This is Andy Shadwinkle. He is our board chair. And Mr. Christopherson, I'll get to introduce you. This is Andrew Christopherson, our head of school. He's going to be running tech tonight to try and make sure that this all runs smoothly. All right. Remember, if you have any questions during the night, please email info at thegroveschool.org. Uh, Beth Houso and Sandy Longman will be manning that email and answer questions as they come in um, or direct you to resources where you can get more information. Thank you. So our uh, lottery for the academic year for students who are accepted in our school is completely random. We do it using poker chips that will be drawn from a basket that will be held by my capable assistant. Uh, everyone should have received an email on the 15th or 16th of March with the number of their student uh, that has been assigned to their student's name, I should say. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can email info at thegrowschool.org, but because we are answering a lot of questions tonight, there's no guarantee we'll be able to get back to you to tell you. So please go look for those emails. All right, um, our lottery is done uh, in a series of preferences. Uh, the preferences are children of the Grove School faculty, uh, siblings of current students of the Grove School, students who attend school in the uh, Mission Elementary School School District, students who attend Montessori in Redlands, uh, or, or, or who have previous Montessori experience, district residents, and out-of-district residents. And so I have over here a bunch of stacks of poker chips that are all got all of the numbers divided into the different preferences they have. And we're taking 50 seventh graders. So you can see here we have one through 50, and then all of the rest of them will be waitlisted. Uh, we will be taking two eighth graders, five ninth graders, five tenth graders, no 11th graders, and no 12th graders. If you wind up being on the wait list, don't despair. Sometimes we go through our entire wait list because we have students who come and say, maybe this isn't for me, or they move, or they're happy where they are. So just because you're on the wait list doesn't mean that you won't eventually get in. Uh, the other thing that we occasionally run into is siblings. We have a lot of siblings in this lottery who are siblings of people who are trying to get in. And as soon as we draw a name of one of the siblings, the other uh, sibling, <laughs> Wow, this, I'm using the word sibling too many times, sorry. The other sibling immediately becomes a sibling as far as preferences go. So if we draw somebody from Redlands Unified School District preference and they have a sibling or a twin, then that twin is automatically the next person drawn. And you may see that happen tonight. We have a few sets of twins. All right. Um, the letters who which will tell you whether or not you got into the lottery will go out by Friday. Yes. By Friday. The 31st of March. Um, you ready? Yeah. So, if you have any questions, please again contact info at thegrowthschool.org. And without further ado, we're going to get started. Thank you. All right. If you would like to stand right here, sure. I'm going to dump things in. So, our first order of preference is children with staff members in seventh grade. We are starting with seventh grade. My apologies, I forgot to say that. Well, shake it up. <laughs> Even if it's only one, you got to shake it up. All right, now you can go high enough so I can't see. This is very difficult. All right, here we go. One. The second preference are siblings of current growth students who live in the Mission Elementary School District boundaries. Two. Three. The third preference are siblings of current growth students who live in the who are 
residents of the Redlands Unified School District. All right. Eight. I can't I look a little bit higher. I can't be able to see. It's awkward, I know. Seven. Four. That's right, seven. Eleven. Ten. Five. Six. Fourteen. What number are we up to? We're now up to six. Still one more minute? Okay. Fifteen. Okay. The next preference are siblings of current growth students who live outside of the Redlands Unified School District area. Thank you for coming in, I appreciate that. 17. 18. Preference level are students living in the Mission Unified, sorry, the Mission Elementary School boundaries. Nineteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Okay. All right. Aha. It's leaning up on the side. Okay. Twenty. And it's empty now? Okay. Our next preference for seventh grade are Students who are currently or have previously attended a Montessori school who are living in Redlands Unified School District boundaries.
34. Sibling? Sibling? 34 sibling. Hang on just a moment. Yeah, so number 38 will be the next one. Number 38 is your siblings number 34. And so when I draw 38, actually, I have a point in it. So here's 38. 38 is being retired for the month. All right. 30. And thank you, Beth. Twenty three. Thirty three. Are there any more in there? Sweet. All right. The next preference are students who are uh, recently attended Montessori school who live outside of the district area. Thirty-seven. Thirty-six. The next preference are students who live within the Montessori, oh, excuse me, within the Redlands Unified School District boundaries. sibling is 51. 51. So 51 will be next. When I draw 51, I'm just going to put it on the table because 51 is a sibling of 52. 76. 56. 44. 41. Um, Sibling? In ninth grade. In ninth grade. So let us know when we get there and we'll move that. Okay. 47. 68. All right. So all other numbers that we draw for seventh grade will be going on the waiting list.
53. Forty-two. Um, does it matter? Um, yes, it does. They, they're next on the waiting list then. What yeah, number is so next? 42, 43. 43? Okay. So now I can remember to retire. 51 and 43? Yeah. Okay. 65. 75. 43. Wait, that's, retired. that's the retired. 77. 40. 57. 46. 72, 78, 39, 61, 74 73 51 is retired. So you already have it. 55, 49, 66, 80. Forty-five. Seventy. Empty. All right. The last preference for seventh grade is outside of Reverend's Unified School District area. Ninety-six. Ninety-two. Eighty-four. Ninety-three. Ninety-seven. Eighty-two. Eighty-six. Eighty-seven. Eighty-nine. 
All right, that concludes the draw for seventh grade. We had 103. So even though it says 104 and 105, we didn't actually have those people. All right, we're going to stop and take pictures of this, and then we're going to reassemble and put up new uh, blanks. Yes, wait, sorry. I don't know if you're the first one we got there should be 40. I think it's 41. Then we'll get one more and I'll add it to the bottom. Yeah, we'll just write handwrite it. Okay. I'm going to save these two. We were going to use these oh, wonderful yeah, laminated so pieces and then realized the glare was not going to facilitate that. So switching back to the old school. Okay. And so we've got how many of the 41? 42. 42? Yep. And then we've got a 42. printed I'll have to add to just the last two. So you just write 41 and 42. Mm -hmm. Or you'll just write them on the teaser. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, does everything have to two? Yeah. Yeah. Five, nine, five, ten, two, eight. 40? Is that all? Yeah. Yeah. And then. Yeah. We actually yeah, have 42 that I didn't print the last sheet, so I'll touch the thing. This one is 41. Oh, yes, yeah, so I did print it. Okay, cool. So this is 8. And so, here, take it to the right. Yes. We only have 42, we have 42. Uh, uh, do, do we have 70 to make the We might. But. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we can do that. 
grade draw, our first preference are siblings of current growth students who reside in the, in the Redlands Unified School District area. One oh four. One oh five. The next preference are siblings of current growth students who live outside the Redlands Unified School District area. Oh, this starts our waiting list. My apologies. Thank you. One oh six. The next preference are students living within the Mission uh, Elementary School boundaries. One oh seven. And then students who have attended a Montessori school who live outside of Redlands Unified School District area. 110, 108, 109. Our next eighth grade preference are students who live in the Redlands Unified School District area. One hundred fifteen, one hundred twenty eight, one hundred thirty two, one twenty two. One hundred thirteen, um, okay. Sibling in eighth grade, yes, one fourteen. One thirteen, one fourteen. Okay, so when I find one fourteen, we'll just get retired. So I put one fourteen. Yep. Yeah. One twenty. One twenty one. One thirty three, one sixteen, one twenty six, one eleven. One twenty nine, one twenty one, one eighteen, one twenty four. One nineteen, one fourteen is being retired. One thirty one, one seventeen. One thirty, one twelve, one twenty five, one twenty. 
123. And the last eighth grade preference is students who live outside of the Redlands Unified School District area. One thirty seven. One forty three. One thirty six. One thirty four. 140, 144, 141, 138, 145, 139, 135, 142, All right, that concludes the eighth grade draw. Pictures? Hang on just a second. We're discussing siblings. We have a lot in this lottery.
to get it in this one. Sandy, are you ready for us? I'm ready. All right. So because we have so many siblings, the first draw will be siblings of students who have been accepted to the Grove School in ninth grade. One sixty-three. One fifty-seven. One sixty-six. Our next preference are ninth grade students who have recently attended a Montessori school and live in the Redland Unified School District area. 146. 146. And now we have ninth grade students who have had recent Montessori education who live out of the Redland Unified School District area. 147. Our next time grade preference. Well, this is waitlist. Oh, sorry. This is waitlist. Everybody from now on is on the waitlist. Our next ninth grade pre preference are students who live in the Redlands Unified School District area. One fifty six. One fifty five. One fifty four. One sixty two. One sixty. One sixty five. One fifty. One fifty one. One forty nine. One fifty two. One sixty four. One fifty nine. One fifty three. That one has a sibling. They're on the waiting list, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. And you would so siblings on waiting list if we wanted to take any siblings. Did you say one fifty three? Yes. One forty eight. One forty nine. One sixty one. One more. One fifty eight. All right. And the last preference for ninth grade are ninth graders living outside of the Redlands Unified School District area. One eighty. One eighty four. One eighty one. One sixty eight. One seventy two.
182. One seventy one. One seventy seven. One eighty five. One sixty nine. 176, 174, 175, 173, 179, 178, 170, any more? 183. All right, that concludes the draw for the ninth grade. This is 10th grade, we have, we're taking five. First one, you ready? Yes. Students living within the Redlands Unified School District boundaries who are children with staff members. One eighty six. Next preference siblings of current growth students who live in Redlands Unified School District boundaries. One eighty seven. Next preference, students who live within the Mission Elementary School District boundaries. 188. One eighty nine. Next preference, students who live within Redlands Unified School District boundaries. 191. Now we're on the waiting list? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're on the waiting list. 193. 192. 190. Oh, cool. Right, 
last preference for 10th grade are students living outside Redlands Unified School District boundaries. One ninety seven. One ninety eight. One ninety nine. One ninety four. One ninety five. One ninety six. One two three. Empty. All right. That concludes the draw for tenth grade. We're now going to do the draw for the 11th grade. Every one of these students will be on the wait list. First preference, living within the Mission, Uni Mission Elementary School boundaries. 200. Next preference, living within Redlands Unified School District boundaries. Two. Two o four. Two o five. Two o six. Two oh one. Two oh three. Any more? Last preference for eleventh grade are students living outside the Redlands Unified School District boundary. Two ten. Two eleven. Two oh nine. Two oh seven. Two oh eight.
preference for 12th grade are students living in the Mission Elementary School District boundaries. These are all waitlist. This is all waitlist. All right, this is all waitlist. <laughs> 212. And then students who have prior Montessori experience who live outside Redland Unified School District boundaries. 2.13. The next are students who live within Redlands Unified School District boundaries. 2.14. And the last are students who live outside Redlands Unified School District boundaries. Two sixteen. And that concludes our twelfth grade draw. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you for watching our uh, Grove School Lottery for the 2023-24 academic year. Again, if you have any questions, please send an email info at thegroveschool.org. Uh, we appreciate your time, and the letters for the students who have gotten in or their spaces on the waitlist will go out by Friday. Thank you very much.